questions about the the side bed that I had installed back in March. So today it's going to be a fairly quick video but I'm going to talk a little bit more about why I decided to go for the side bench um, and more about the dimensions and the practicalities really of, of that bed. So first of all the reasons I decided to go with the side bed there is a little bit more of this on one of the other videos I did, which was the, the lockdown cocktails one. I actually slept on the bed that night. So there's uh, little videos in there of me sort of getting the bed ready and putting it away again in the morning. Um, but yeah, just to sort of go through again why I had the bed put in in the first place. Uh, because as you know, I have had this bongo as a tin top with eight seats. Um, then we had one of the benches taken out, the rear kitchen put in, and then the other bench put rear facing. And we had that for a couple of years. But the reasons I went with the side bench in the end was more about access and floor space. Because I found the rear bench did take up quite a lot of room um, when I was sort of getting into the van. Um, so that, that was a big reason and to sort of create more floor space more versatility really and that alongside the swivel chair the passenger swivel seat has really done that for me um, another reason was the the mattress um, I found the benches laid flat were very comfy but if you're on them for maybe more than a couple of nights the it, it really sort of bent my back the wrong way and I tried a number of um, topper mattresses and then you just end up having more to store. So, um, yeah, just to get the, the flatter mattress, I guess, was another deciding factor. And for me, what I particularly like about any camper van that I would ever have in the future, I'm not saying I'm not ever going to have a bongo forever, of course, but... I've looked at motorhomes and I've looked at much bigger vans, but the one thing I really would not want to do without is what I call the swish swish door. I love the fact that the bongo, the door opens on the side and if it's a lovely day and you've got a great view out to the side of the van, the side bench really allows you to sort of just sit and look at that view. You can do it with the rear bench because you can just open the tailgate and look out the back but yeah I think just um yeah the view and that side door is is quite a key thing for me the other thing that I found quite appealing was the fact that the the side bed comes with storage underneath the seat and things like the camping chairs I used to keep under the the rear facing bench and that's fine but yeah it was just finding them and they, they would move around a little bit so I, I do like the idea that now my the table the cushion that goes over the table two camping chairs and a camping table for outside all fit under that bench they're out the way and yeah um, again it just frees up more space elsewhere now, along with all those lovely advantages, of course, there are disadvantages with having the side bed. The most obvious one is the fact that you're very limited with how many passengers that you'd be able to take because of seatbelts. So essentially, we've got a driver and a passenger, and that's the only seatbelts that we've got. Um, it's not really an issue for us because it's, it's mostly just the one or two of us going away in any case. But yeah, if you were a family, that's definitely something that would probably, you know, render the side bench not practical for you. Uh, the second thing, it's not, um, I don't think it's a particular problem, but just bear in mind that the bed that you get with this pull-out side bed is, it's a, an irregular shape. So it depends which end of the bed you sleep on, but the bit that's got the cushions on the side and the table in the middle is the widest part and that's um, I'm gonna have a look at my little diagram now that bit is 127 centimeters at the widest and then as you come down towards the um, the front of the vehicle it does narrow um, and it goes down 
down to 115 centimeters at the narrowest. Um, I don't find that a problem. And in fact, the narrowing bit means that you've got a bit of room to walk down the side near the door. Um, so yeah, that to me isn't a problem. The length of the bed, taken into account from the back of my rear kitchen to the edge of the pull-out bed where I'm sitting at the moment, um, that is, there we are, so that is 156 centimetres. So that um, isn't that long. However, bear in mind that you also get the space where the dicky seats are and regardless of whether you've got the normal front seats that just sort of bend forward and then you've got that little flap out seat on the bottom I made a cushion to fit over the driver's side for mine and that's an extra 40 centimeters in length um, if you've got reversing swivel uh, sorry swivel seats then obviously you've got even more room but there will be um, irregularity so I'll just sort of move the camera so you can see what I mean so where where the edge of the bed finishes and the reversing seat starts obviously it's a lovely long length but you would need to fill in here with some cushions and then this side I made this cushion to fit it just goes across the dicky seat there um, and that's a nice stable length. So in fact, Richard is um, six foot one and he can he can stretch out fully here. So yeah, that's it's not a problem. It's just yeah, you've got to you've got to adapt a little bit to get um, if you're a tall person. So obviously I'm only speaking about the bed that I had fitted. Um, it, it, you know, there was options you could make it any width at all. So if you don't have a rear kitchen, for example, and you wanted the full length of your van to be a pull-out bench, then that would be entirely possible as well. So I would suggest you, um, if it's something you're interested in, go to one of the conversion companies. I had mine done at New Dawn Conversions in um, Wensbury. Um, and they were brilliant. I, I would recommend those. So they're very approachable. So yeah, make inquiries, um, find out the price depending on the size of, uh, of the, the pull-out bed that you need. It might be worth pointing out as well, uh, the bed ends and you've obviously got the length of the, the two seats, but the console does come between. So um, doesn't bother me because there's plenty of room for one person on each side and that's never bothered me because to be honest we had that issue when we had the benches in here anyway so that's that's nothing different if you've if you've used to sleeping in a bongo you, I'm sure you won't find any difference with the the console but I just thought I'd point that out <laughs> there as well so how does it feel over there comfortable yeah oh, with a snooze. <laughs> okay so you magically moved in this direction <laughs> <laughs> so this way now so your feet are down there so again yeah plenty of, looks room. of... plenty either or oh yeah i think you can just pick your position depending on if there's any slopes in the van yeah isn't it really yeah Okay, we are speaking to you from our bed, quite comfy. Very comfy, I would say. i got loads of room because I'm only five foot two, um, but even, even you've got lots of room there, haven't you? Plenty. I think Richard was anxious to start with when I started talking about changing all the seating. 
because you thought you were going to be scrunched up. No, I trusted you. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little bit nervous, but yeah, I think you're reassured now. No, it's you? Just perfect. There's lots of room. And it's nice and flat. Yeah. Well, the other one was a bit lumpy, bumpy. Yes, yeah, know, I said yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was one of the reasons, wasn't it? Yeah. So, all in all, we're really happy with this. We've um, we've lost a little bit in the width, maybe a couple of centimetres, yeah. but we've gained in length. <laughs>